Hi there, I'm July Lewis. I'm the volunteer and internship manager at Save the Bay and I manage our shoreline cleanup program. We're here in East Providence, Rhode Island at Bold Point. It's a great little boat launch site. Um, it's one of the sites we do a lot of shoreline cleanups. What I'm seeing out there when I'm doing cleanups is that there are some sites where the wind and the tides bring floatable materials and just deposit them. The tides and wind are just right and they bring all those little bits of flotsam and jetsam, deposit them on the shore. And so you're not only getting natural items like bits of reeds and uh, bits of wood, uh, but you're getting a lot of plastics more and more every year. And they become literally part of the environment. Like it's like a mulch littering the ground. This stuff wasn't deposited here. This could have been washed into the bay miles and miles away. And this is where it ends up. Uh, so we take a look here. We've got, like I said, lots of, you know, bits of reeds and natural materials. And then you get the, you get the little mini straws, lots and lots of bits of foam. These are parts of uh, coffee cups, it looks like. Uh, lots of uh, parts of bottle caps, it seems like. Let's see, what else have we got here? Um, yeah, again, you just keep digging. I don't know what that is. Um, and it's just, it's just part of it. It's like I said, it's just a mulch just going way down. You just find plastic, more and more plastic. Uh, yeah, who knows what this is? So it really is just becoming part of the environment. And um, we don't really know what that means and what that's gonna lead to. And uh, our volunteers get out here and they get discouraged. How can they clean up all of this stuff? It's imp it seems impossible. Uh, they can get the big stuff and get that cleared away, but this is the stuff that remains. And how can you sort through and get all these little tiny, tiny bits of plastic uh, out of the environment?